Good morning and welcome to Peace Out, where we're all figuring out how to peace out. And by the way, I am working on the Peace Out devotional. I'm hoping to have it done by the end of the month. How about that? That's what my goal is. I've uh, been reading up on some of the top authors that I follow, and they're like, you, you ain't going to do nothing if you don't set goals. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to set a goal. I have four more verses to find to fill in, and it's going to be 40 days, 40-day 40 devotionals. First 40-day one I've done. I don't know why I wanted to do 40. I just wanted to. So working on it. Hopefully have it done in the next couple of weeks. So be looking for that in the bookstores and stuff and, and the releases and all that. And I ain't got into all that yet, but it'll be there anyway, one way or the other, right? Hope you're having a great morning. Hope you're having a great week. Right here, we're past the middle of October. <coughs> Excuse me, and headed straight into November. Happens every year about this time, doesn't it? <laughs> Funny thing happened on the way to work. <laughs> anyway, so this morning, I, I'm I'm reading Romans this week, and uh, I'm probably going to finish it in the next day or two. It, it, although I kind of stopped in chapter 8, because chapter 8 this morning had so much. And that's why I was a little bit late, because I was just lost in chapter 8. So much in just chapter 8 that we could talk about. It talks about the love of God. It talks about being, you know, spiritually minded. It talks about being free from the power of sin. That's what the cross did, right? It talks about God working all things out for good. We've talked about a lot of these things in, in the devotionals as we've gone through also, right? And so, man, it was just so much. I kind of got lost. And then that's why I was a little bit late because then I just got behind, <laughs> right? But here we are. And so I, as I was reading, I was thinking, I was praying, and and then I started thinking about how I, I found myself in Romans 15 that says, "May the God of hope," and we've talked about this scripture before, but may the God of hope fill you with all. That's an interesting word right there, right? Joy and peace. He didn't just say. May God fill you, may the God of hope fill you with peace and joy. He said, may the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Spirit. And I thought, wow, the God of hope. And so I started thinking about the God of hope and how he's going to give us peace and joy, right? And then I also thought about just back over in Romans 14, where it says the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. And then my thoughts kind of went off in this other, I, I just kind of got lost in this little train of thought. I do this sometimes, right? When, and that's what that's the power of, of like meditating on the scripture is just thinking it, rolling it over, ask some questions. It's not bad. I was raised that it was bad to ask God questions. It's not. It's bad to question God, right? But it, it's not bad to ask questions. As a matter of fact, when the angel came to Mary and he said, you're going to have the Christ, she didn't question God, but she had a question. How is this going to be? And actually, that the cool thing about that, that question was it showed that she wasn't questioning what the angel said. She was questioning how in the world is that going to happen? But that, it, even the question showed she had faith because she said, how will this happen? She didn't say, oh, that's not possible. She didn't say, "You right. She didn't laugh like Abraham and Sarah did, but yet they still had faith right so she didn't question if it was true she just said how can this be how can this happen because i don't know a man right i ain't i ain't done the deed so i can't have the fruit and so she she was just asking how can this be so asking questions in itself on one it's not wrong asking questions uh, uh is not doesn't show lack of faith Asking questions, asking questions is actually how we learn. Almost every discovery started with a question, right? The, the questions are imp an imperative part, a, an essential part of, of the discovery process. Asking questions is how we actually learn. What is a qu I'm the question queen. What does what teachers do? They ask questions like I just did to make us think questions make us think how could that be so i look at the scripture scriptures we've talked about here on, on these devotionals uh, uh several times and i stopped right here the kingdom of god is uh, is righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost and i was like wait a minute the kingdom okay we know that god over actually over here in romans 16 paul says may the god of peace be with you god is the God of peace. He's the king of peace. And the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, 
and joy and Jesus is the Prince of Peace so let's play a little connect the dots here okay we'll play a little game sorta of. God is the king of the kingdom of peace he's the God of peace well Jesus is his son right we believe Jesus is his son he came he's the Prince of Peace because his father is the king of peace and the whole kingdom is ruled in peace and I was like he covers us completely with peace because God is the king of peace Jesus is his son the Prince of Peace we're covered on every level with peace besides that we can't go anywhere that we aren't covered in peace we can't find a spot where God doesn't reign as the as the king of peace as a king over peace as the God of peace and we can't go anywhere where Jesus isn't the Prince reigning in peace the Prince of Peace so we are covered no matter how we look at it God has us covered with peace he has us covered with righteousness peace and joy so no matter what we're doing today no matter what we are involved in today no matter what comes at us today or what good things don't come at us today we are covered it's like this double layer of peace because we can't get away from it where are you gonna go that you can't find God's peace can you go to the deepest darkest cave in the earth and go huh God's peace no he's there can you go through hard difficult circumstances and God not be there that's not possible can you go through good things maybe somebody will hand me a million dollars today I profess it by faith <laughs> I don't really have faith for that <laughs> I wish I did <laughs> maybe God will hand us a million dollars today God's still there maybe our bank account is overdrawn today don't let that be so it's not right now right but God's still there we can go to any extreme emotion and 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 realize that God is still there we can walk through good things today and God won't leave us and go okay I know you got it I'll be back to check on you in a minute in a minute no or we can't go through really hard things and he goes well go back come back when you got your got it all together because I don't know how to deal with grief no he carried our griefs our grief and he carries us in grief he carries us in sorrow he carries us in joy he carries us in peace he's got us covered no matter what comes at us good or bad there is nothing off the table we got this double layer of the God of peace ruling in the kingdom of peace with the Prince of Peace reigning over all we can't get out from under his peace even if we wanted to but we don't right we can't escape the peace of God we can't escape the grace of God we cannot accept it and refuse to let it reign in our lives but he's got us covered on every single layer and isn't it interesting that we're talking about a kingdom of peace ruled by the God of peace ruled by the Prince of Peace and we are body soul and spirit he doesn't say I'll take care of your spirit I got you saved now you the rest of it I don't know what to do no it doesn't say okay I don't know what you're gonna do with your emotions pieces peace has to do with our emotions and yet it has so much more to do than our emotions God's not gonna exclude a part of us and say I don't I don't I don't that's not my department I, I don't deal with that he's got us covered on every single layer he's got us wrapped in his peace he's given us his joy he's given us his love we can't escape who God is we can ignore it and not reap the benefit in our lives but it doesn't make it so so we just as well get with the program and go okay God I know you're the God of peace Jesus is the Prince of Peace the kingdom is righteousness peace and joy I want to live in that kingdom today I want to experience that kingdom of peace in my heart today that's when we go just let it rain if, if we don't we, we have to acknowledge the royalty that God has put over us that's God being King Jesus being Prince and we are princes with him and princesses I'm a princess <laughs> that's a weird picture isn't it <laughs> right because we we are ruling with him in the kingdom of God which is righteousness peace and joy and so it just makes sense that we let these things rule in our heart every decision we have to make today run it through the king run it through the prince run it through the word 
where where does this fall? Is this am I following just my my natural th- line of thinking, or am I following God? And if I follow God, guess what? I'm going to have peace, and He's going to give me peace. He's going to give me that direction. He's going to give me wisdom. I guys just got to listen. I just got to let His peace. I want to let that kingdom, the whole kingdom reign in my heart so that I am pleasing to God and so that I reap the benefits of having his peace operate in my life today right so you can go into the day knowing that he's got you covered layer after layer after layer he's got he's got the peace you need for today he's got the grace you need for today he's got the hope you need for today he's got you today he's got you covered and he ain't got nowhere to go so you just will get used to it Peace out. Have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow.